doing welcome to or welcome back to equalize sound and auto repair chris back with another video for you guys today today i'm working on the 2020 for f-150 it's the xlt and we're getting ready to replace the horns they have went out on my brother so we're getting ready to take those out and put them back in so pretty much let's get ready to get to it show you what you're gonna need all right, so we back. We about to pop up all these clips. We're gonna have them sporadic throughout the vehicle. So you got here, 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 here. here, here. So you're gonna take out probably about six to 10 clips. So about to start those. Let me put some gloves on so these hands don't get dirty. All right, so I'm not gonna talk that much today. We're gonna do a lot of moving around and working. So let's start getting these clips up. So end up buying the kit. To go with this to help me out better through all the years I've been using just regular screwdrivers and stuff. So, ended up buying the kit off of Amazon. Figured I'd start with it and see what I can do with it. So, only thing I don't like about these pliers it makes it come all the way apart. But a little bit at a time, take take patience. You don't get frustrated. If you're working on cars, just look forward to getting frustrated sometimes. So, take your time and don't let shit piss you off. All right, here so, we go. Proceed. And sometimes these freeze up because they get real stiff from all the dirt and debris. So, we're going to work them on up without damaging them. And if you're going to, I recommend you buy some extra clips just to have to back up. But this thing is pretty cool. I've never, never had one of these guys. But I said 2020. This is a 19, so I think it follows from 2015 to 2020. So 2019 for F-150. Um, and before you start pulling, always check around just to see how things are progressing. Because you don't want to damage anything. So, you see where I'm at? And pull the rest of these clips out. You got two up here for your air breather. You're going to have to remove two. But this whole piece is going to come out in order to get to these horns. So, let me start pulling those up. I'll be right back. All right, so we back. Got all the clips popped out. And we're going to proceed to raising the cover. And just take your time and be careful. It should pop right out. Just like so. Got them out the way, we're just gonna move it over here because we're not touching any of this. It doesn't need anything, it's a 2019. Shouldn't need anything up there. All right, so now that we're here, we got one, two, three, four 10 millimeters we're gonna have to remove. We might have to remove the latch and you know, sit it to the side, but we're about to see. So let's get it cracking with these 10 millimeters. And let me come over here to my box. Mr. Milwaukee, and make sure your wrench is righty tighty lefty loosey, and let's get it cracking. Let's grab us a tin. Let's verify first. Always verify your parts and bolts. Got a 10 milli, let's break it free. But yeah, he said the horn is sounding like some little kid screaming. <laughs> No, I'm just playing. <laughs> so we in here. It's got to sound like a truck. Yeah. Just take your time. It ain't that deep. Yeah. And don't mind helping people. So. Not for sure, it's my first time doing one of these. If these pop out or not, let's just move some stuff and see. We got one, two, one, two. All right, looks like they do pop up away from the grill. Yep, sure do. So let's use our pliers again. Got one. So first time, it's still a car. So, just take your time. Oh yeah, and there's mostly fiberglass around this, so you're not gonna have too many magnetic spots if you're a mechanically inclined person. So that'll be a disappointment for you. 
But other than that, nice ass truck. <laughs> not gonna complain about it. And don't mix up your tabs. These got a little circle on them. I'll show you in just a second. So these pop up a little different. So for those who don't know, just gonna show you. These are the ones that go in the front here, and these are the regular pop-in styles that everybody breaks and hates. So let's put these over here. Alright, so we got that out. So now that's free. Let's see if we got any more screws. So we can reach down in this bad boy. Make sure this rubber is clear. And this clip swings over here, just a rubber grommet. This is loose. Alright. So now this part pops back. Let's see. Yep, it pops out. Let's see. One. Might have to do a twist and pop. Alright, so we got everything so now we're going to loosen up this 18 here. Yeah. Let's see if the screwdriver will twist and pop him out. Start working on this 18. Hopefully it'll come free. Okay, so we got movement. I don't want to pull this all the way out if I don't have to. So let's see where we're at now. Got plenty of like see if we need anything else. So the horn is down in here. I'll show you in a minute where she's sitting. Right here. Bam. So let's see. We might be doing a custom job as well. This mug is brand new, so sometimes stuff don't come off like you want to because it's brand new. This ain't never been moved, so let me wiggle some stuff and find out something else, then I'll be right back to show you that, too. I don't know. I hope these horns work. Yeah, I hope they work, too. And if they don't, if they don't work, then how can you test them before you put them on? Well, we'll use um, a 12-volt battery source, so we'll do that on this video as well. So we're back. So in order to move this grill... After removing those things up top, you have two seven millimeters right here, okay? So you're gonna remove this one here. Let him fall, make sure you see where he's at. Well, I'm using one hand, you probably won't be. All right, see if he's good enough to come out. Spinning rest way by hand. And Make sure you separate all your bolts or remember where they came out and how they came out. So let's walk around to the driver's side and do the same. Right in here. Bam, there we go. And by it being a 2019, it is very, it's very nice to not have to worry about rust. So we got both of those guys out. And after that, you got a clip behind here. Let me uh, set this tripod up and just start from the other side. So I don't have to use two hands. Well, one hand. I want to use two. So excuse the video for the movement and all that stuff. But that's what it do to get the job done. All right. So we're right here. Bam. That should be a good shot for the moment. Put these extra screws up there so you got four seven millimeters that you got to pull out all right so after that you're gonna take your trim removal tool and come here and start to work it out just like that and from there you're going to keep working it from there all the way around so let's set up over here and let's proceed. And just be careful and take your time. And we're going to work our way all the way across. And you might 
might be able to pull it as long as you guide it all the way around. And definitely use a trim removal tool so you don't damage paint. So, now we got this piece off. We're going to move this to the side somewhere it doesn't get damaged. So we're doing a mod. We're going in with four horns. So after you get that off, we're doing a modification. So we're not going in just with the factory. We're gonna branch off of the factory itself. And I'll show y'all that when we get to that point. So uh, let me count these screws, see how many we gotta take out. Be right back. All right, so we're back. After further investigation, we're gonna have to move a screw down here and then get me a uh, get me a well, what you say sir all righty yeah we're discussing things about this so let's get it in so you have a eight you have to remove and an eight on that side so everybody has something to bring to the table and I always work with the hardest first if you can't get that done ain't no sense of doing the easy stuff but we're getting ready to do a modification since the horns sound like a baby booty. Got him out. And let's see if we can tilt it without dropping it. There we go. And have a magnet for that purpose. And let's move to the other side. They're going to have to call me back. We got one right there. Go into him. And after this, you should be able to remove the grill. Make sure you're on your boat. And we are. All right, I'm gonna leave that one there like that and grab him out. Just like that. Okay, let's move everything out the way. That's out the way. And now we should be able to pull the grill for it. But before we do that, we're gonna remove this clip here. This guy here, let's push it in and pull it up. Wiggle it, there we go. It's another one behind here, but it rests back here. So we're gonna just remove this real quick with our trim tool. Got those out the way. Got our trim tool. And let's pop her up. And then if she don't, we might have to go old school. And it looks like we might be going old school. Let's see if we can get her out. And twist a little bit. There we go. Got her to break free. All right, so let's try to pull this bumper off. Let me set this camera. All right, so now that we got those two out, we should be able to pop them out, grab them up here by the light on this side, and pull. Walk your hand around to this light and pull. It's gonna feel a little tight, but there you go. We got pop brakes. And there you go. That's how you remove the grill. 2019 F-150 XLT. So now let's put this on something beautiful like a nice quilt or something. <laughs> so it doesn't get scuffed or scratched. Always be professional in what you do. Another rock. Shake this bad boy. Had a couple of rocks in the grill. Very well built grill. It's nice and heavy. It's not no cheap, flimsy grill. All right. So over here, now we have access to our horns right here. So we're getting ready to do a modification to put these guys in over here. We're going to put these in. We're going to do four. So this is a project and we're about to make it work because it's going to be awesome. So let's get it in. Let me get everything set up right back. I figured since I was in here, do a nice cleanup job. Let's go ahead and get this here. Clean the radiator up. All the leaves and stuff. Get those out. Stuff like this in the radiator. I'm gonna take a little wire brush or 
actually I'm gonna use a nylon brush just to do this. He didn't ask me to, but I figured I should since I'm in here. Just get some of this debris out. You don't have to do this, but if you do use a nylon brush, do not use a wire brush, unless it's a copper, but you don't want to mess up your fins on your radiator. But you get little rocks and stuff, that's what I'm brushing out right now. Little old rocks, anything that uh, possibly compromise the cooling system later in the future. A few rocks in the grid ain't gonna hurt anything, but just to prevent it, doesn't hurt, we're in here. A little air and a couple of sweep up jobs, so. Other than that, everything's good. So, got that cleaned out. About to proceed on how we're going to go about our wiring on this form. And we're going to disconnect it. And I'm probably going to work from here. So, let's see what we get. We're going to test these horns with some wires. And we'll be right back with that. Alright, so we're back. And if you don't know which one is positive and negative, I have a voltage tester. You can find one of these on Amazon. Um, that way you don't have to use a voltmeter, but let's put the negative on and it doesn't take batteries or anything. And let's see which one is which it'll pop up on the screen here on the side. Let's see what we get. All right, go ahead and toot the horn or hold it down and see what we get. We get nothing. No, just hold the horn down like you're going to beat. Okay, so I guess we're going to need the key because we're having nothing at the moment. All right. I'm trying to see if it's going to light up for me. And it might not. All right, let me do this thing. This is a new device. Be right back. Okay, so the way this volt voltage reader works, you can do either way, negative, positive, positive, negative. But just touch it. I have it hooked up. It's reading 12.7 12 point, 12 volts, 12.6 just from holding it here, 12.8. And you can also do negative, negative, and it'll come up on here what it is if you was to reverse this to positive, negative. So trying to see when we hit this horn, which one lights up for us, and we might be able to use a regular test light. So let's go with that. All right, right back. Let's grab the test light. Got so many of these guys. This is one of the ancients. They have so many newer ones these days. So I'm about to test this real quick with this test light. Give me a second. Alright, so my voltage tester, we'll try that again just to see if it works, but I already even show you real fast. We have two sources. We got our battery light. This is just to show you positive and negative. Usually the lighter is positive sometimes people might reverse it but we have our positive on this side there we go and our negative gives us nothing with the light let's see if they got that on camera positive negative positive all right so we know that our yellows are positive so we're going to modify this and incorporate it into the wire harness so let me start wiring up these horns and be right back all right i just wanted to show that this does work and it will show you your voltage for positive so let's do that got to push it in there a little bit so hopefully that's coming up on camera so yellow positive black negative all right be right back all right so since we're doing a modification this is going to be a little longer than your average video for a horn replacement because we're going back in with four so let's test everything and we're using a 12 volt battery source let's see if i get that on camera this guy here we're going to use him. Let's slide this down some. There we go. So, let's test it out. Positive, negative. And let's use this Milwaukee. We're, this will be the third horn we're testing. And we just want to make sure they all work before we do an installation. All right, so that one's working. And I'll put some clips on that. We have one more to test. Test on that. Is that showing up? Yes, it is. And my hands are a little sweaty. And let's do the same thing. So then we'll make sure they're all working. Make sure it's away from your ears. Yeah, they uh, doing their job. 
So since we know that we have two different pitches, so we're gonna do two on this side and two on the other side. So these two have its own pitch and the other ones as well. So let's get ready to modify this guy. Be right back. All right, so this is all custom. So we about to do a custom mod. So we know which ones are positive and negative. So quit talking and let me work. Uh, that's a 10. Alright, it's time to move it down so people can hear. Alright, so let's get started. We got one loose, make sure you get a both loose. Alright, so we got one hanging there. And now I'm about to build my wire to where I can branch off my positive because we're running four. But I want to set up my bracket first and make sure I got a good mounting point for that because we're going to use this original bracket here for the new ones so they're going to sit in like this here we're going to bolt one of the new ones in let's just see if this fits it came with new bolts and stuff too so we're going to sit this in here like that i think i might have this one facing this way and let's see if that's not out far enough and we got this one as well so i'm probably going to have them facing this way and doing my positive and negative, but I gotta figure out how I'm gonna run that. And then I'm gonna do the same over here. We're gonna wire up through here and have the two over here. So let me get started on figuring out how I'm gonna go about my wiring and incorporating into this harness. And I'll be right back. Figured I'd show a little bit of this on camera. So we're doing positive two wire and we're gonna tap in here. Yeah, we're about to make a nice set up here this is all custom and i'm going to think having to think while i go because i want everything nice and crispy and to work forever as long as the park works no mistakes no wiring mistakes everything's got to be crispy so just wiring up get ready to do the same thing on my negative and make sure you have enough wire more than enough wire to stretch across and we do, so let me cut this and split it. So I did yellow, I uh, could have done red, but the wire harness here is yellow, so that way it's easy and not get confused on positive and negative. Uh, we got that one ready. And we'll clip those tips in a minute. So let's wire her up. Sometimes you might have to thin your wire, sometimes you don't. Let's twist her and get her in. I like to try to keep them as thick as possible. So let's open this guy up. Let's take it out for a minute. And let's open it up more because it's plastic. And let's run it all the way back. And we'll pop this guy on. And I'm still going to cut this here. So I just want to make sure everything's good. And if I don't need it, I'll just tap it in tap it off so let's get that one on there uh, pliers 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 there we go there they are okay that's a good bite let's get that on there and we'll test the horn just to make sure here in a minute all right, so I got my wires. We're going two on this side and two on this side over here. So smash these in once I'm done. I just want to make sure everything's working correctly. So let's uh, proceed. All right, let's do it. Proceed. And let me test this horn. Black is negative, so I went blue for that. And we're going to do a quick test just to make sure we have power. And this is an excellent truck. So let's tap and see. This one's still connected, but let's see. I have verification from my brethren. 
Well, this one is still hooked up, so everything's wired up right now, still. Well, they might be the same because I haven't changed the base one yet. So, uh, you can actually go fill it. So, let me uh, back this up, we're gonna get a feel, make sure we have power. All right. And before we even do that, let's take our light and let's make sure we have power as well to both sides. All right, go ahead, sir. Go ahead, sir. Let's make sure we're good. One more time. Nope, we have one horn working. One more time. This one is getting power. Let me match this a little more. All right, let's see what we get. Let's come back in here. Uh, positive. Okay, one more time. Okay, so we're good on the wire. Let's test both ends of the wire down here. And I think they're putting out the same sound. So let's just test both ends of our wire with the horn. Go ahead, sir. That's one. Let's get one. So we got power to both of these. And one more time with the horn. I feel this one vibrating. So I will disconnect this. I should still have run to this one. So let's see. Just to make sure, well, we disconnected all the power. So once he pushes the horn, this yellow should light up. Yep, so that's lighting up. So we have power to both of those. So we're about to modify this, and I'll show you what I've done to wire it up in a second, and then we're going to proceed to the other side. All right, right back. All right, so we back. Decided to finally figure out how I was going to do it. That way we didn't have to cut out the factory wire harness. So we just spliced the wires and ran it off the back here. And we'll put dielectric grease on that. Got our positive and negative coming in. We're missing one because he fell off on us. We got to branch one in from here to up here to splice that one. So all the other ones are ran. We got this one that just popped out. We got to connect it back. But everything's ran, working great. Let's put this in so we can test it one more time. And we'll test that final horn here in a minute. So we got everything hooked up. I got one more horn over here. This wire I must tap in. So I'm gonna do that here in a second. Just gonna branch in off of one of these here. And let's test it real quick. All right, we got everything working. So now let's finish the wiring. We're gonna install these up here and I'll be back after getting everything zip tied and know everything's working for sure. So just wanted to show my setup and we'll get ready to zip all this back up. All right, everything sound good. So make sure the alarm pops and everything. So be right back. All right, so we back, got everything wired up, use wire harnesses and everything, zip ties, everything to get these double horns. I told you we was gonna do a custom mod to this guy and we did. And we branched in off of the wire harness, the uh, factory wire harness to get this guy to work. So we're gonna hit the, the key, let you hear it. Good, chirp, 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 chirp. And yeah, we're gonna proceed to putting, putting the grill back in. It sounds so much better. Oh man, that's beautiful. So yeah, we're getting ready to put the grill back in. Thanks for watching Equalize Sound and Auto Repair. Please hit the thumbs up. Hopefully you like and subscribe to the channel. And yeah, just follow this process in reverse. Get your grill back in, check all your connections, everything, and you should be good. So thanks for watching. Hopefully this helps you out. And to the next video, I'm out.